Stand by, guys. Guys, no talking. Everything must be as we planned. Exchange cases, have a drink, leave. Can you hear me? Let's get going. Major Baranov, please produce your documents right Where now. Where did all these idiots come from? Listen up, get lost now. I'd rather you didn't act like a tough guy. This may cost you a lot. Where are your cases at? Listen, buddy, you're making a big mistake now, and you don't even know how big. Do you get what I mean? Hey, dear, if you only knew how many times I've heard those words in my life. Let me repeat the question again for the obtuse. Are these your cases? And do you have a warrant? Well, how could I do without it? I always have it with me. Here it is. Now freeze. If you move, I'll shoot you in the head. You hear me? How dumb can you possibly be, Major Baranoff? Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! Damn. my way. Uh. Hey, come back with my car. Come back. Damn, he left. Ugh. My <laughs> ear! My ear! That's it, man! You're Game dead over! Dead! I'm a French subject! And you're a stupid cop, you bastard! That's what you are, a bastard! Listen, man, if you're a French uh, subject, why are you uh, talking like a fishwife, huh? Uh, huh? I demand the presence of a French consul, you hear me? Sure thing. Uh, Put these for a start. Uh, emergency situation. The operation with the Frenchman has failed. How come? Tell me what happened. Tell me now! In the course of passing the stuff right in the club, some insane major from Organized Crime Control Bureau interfered to check the documents. Well, the guy couldn't produce their documents. For sure, he took out a pistol. The Frenchman tried to get away, and this major shot him. All in all, a complete failure. Well, okay, that's it for today. We need to find out how he turned up there. Major Baranov's files. Prisoners, get out of there one by one now. Sit down, by two over there. The right one holds his bag in the right hand, the left one in the left. Hurry up, head down, quick. We'll teach those who don't understand, quick. Move it, move it, move it. I said move it. Yeah, like that. No, Hypo! Yeah. Hypo! Come on, man. Hypo! Just... Hypo! Hypo. A new group arrived at night. 
It's so funny. What's so funny? Well, your doppelganger came here. Really? What does that mean? Well, he was newly arrested. He looks just like you, a twin, but his hair is of a different color. <laughs> Zorik, you're joking with me. I'm dead serious. Uh, which detention is he in, then? In three. Well, let's go and have a look at my new twin, then. Oh. <sighs> yeah, I don't know, man. I'm gonna... <sighs> yeah, pretty I tired. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. What? No, well... Come on! Yeah. I mean, you should have seen look on Hurry up with that. Play your hand. Mess, dude. Why did they yeah. send you here, Thank bro? You. Total mess, yeah. Article 160, Part 3. You mean grand embezzlement of state property committed by a gang, I'm assuming, right? I'm an accountant. My boss let me down this time. Oh, is that right? Take my word for it. I'm not guilty. My attorney already filed an appeal. Retrial is on Friday. I hope I'm free. Really? I'm serious. Take your cap off. What for? Isn't it clear? Take your cap off. Come here, man. Don't be afraid. We don't do anything to friendlies. If someone troubles you, just say you're hypos friendly. Got it? Got it. <laughs> when is the retrial? You said on Friday, was it? Yes. That's great. I didn't understand why you need him. You'll see. Long life, comrade captain. Hello. Our laws are not perfect as present. They put you into prison for a sack of potatoes. Please tell me, why the hell did you do this nonsense, you dumbass? Did you want it to interfere into everything? Vitaly, it's just I'm not Vitaly to you now, man. I'm Comrade Colonel now. Comrade Colonel, I've known this foreign citizen for a long time already. He's a well-known drug dealer. Peter Grushko is a native of Moldova. I was hot on his trail. I wanted to detain him with the stuff. Was I to wait until he distributed this filthy thing? It was very clear you were not to go to this damn club. And you were not to shoot a foreign citizen without being asked to. What if you had shot him in the head, then what? I aimed for his ear. Lousy sniper. They wrote a complaint at the embassy. It's going to take you forever to clear yourself. Comrade Colonel, by the way, I acted in accordance with the law. Slava! You will prove it in court if you acted in accordance with the law or not. This complaint from the embassy is not all. You have a more serious problem in hand. What problem? Anti-drug police have been watching this Frenchman for six months now, and you spoiled the whole operation. Are you happy? The general ordered me to come to tell me off. That is bad. Congratulations. Now everybody knows how damn cool you are, dumbass. Comrade Colonel. How can I know about their operation? I'm not some clairvoyant. You want to report to your superior, that is me, and only then stick your nose into other people's affairs, all right? Hear me? Got it. Next time, I'll definitely report to you. There won't be a next time. Come again? Not my call. The boss decided to suspend you. The order's been signed. So did you sign it? Yes. Yes, I did sign. What choice did I have? What choice? I tried to defend you as much as I could. There was an uproar. They wanted to initiate a case. All in all, I couldn't do anything, man. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Comrade Colonel. You talk smoothly, by the way. I'm as good at talking as you're as good at shooting, Comrade Major. You are dismissed from here. Eat dirt. I'm a poor girl with a new life ahead. Oh, 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 I got married without any love at all. Oh, 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 oh. I found a lover in a crazy place. Oh, 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 and my husband is telling me off right now, though I don't care. I don't care. <coughs> I'll spend my time with him anyway. Oh, Curly, have you brought it? Uh huh. Let's see. Here it is. I'm grateful to you. So grateful. I owe uh, you, man. Uh, I really owe you. Hey, look, you don't owe me any, all right? Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, Here it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, give it to me. 
Give it to me. Come on, yes. Spread a towel over this. How do I? Just do it. We have no time. <sighs> like that? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like that. That looks good. Listen, I didn't get it straight away, but... So you think it looks real, then? Yeah. Come on, come on, finish it up, then. We're gonna leave in an hour. And take a couple of reliable guys with you as well. Everything is going to be all right. <sighs> Listen up. Get out for a minute. They need to discuss a thing what with you it? out here. Not sure. Hypo's waiting. Watch out. Don't hit his head. Careful. Wait. Glasses. Glasses, 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 glasses. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Careful, careful. That's it. That's it. Come on. Take him to the barrack. That's it. <laughs> it's okay. Come on. Yeah, that'll do it, right? Good. Okay. Really like a twin. <laughs> He's so lucky. That's it. He'll be respected for the night. <laughs> That's it. Enough then, okay? Okay. Yeah, you're right. Go to the barrack and see to it that it's okay. The main thing is that it's quiet. Okay, Ipo. Where are you heading, though? To the Moscow. Well-known places? Well, no. No, no, no. I've got kids there, so You've got fine. kids out there? <laughs> yes. When they put me into prison, my missus was pregnant. <sighs> I don't even know who she gave birth to. I want to see them for once. <laughs> fine, have a That's look. It. Sorry. Bye, Go. then. Goodbye. Prisoner Shabanov, Article 160, Part 3, sir. Stand up, Shabanov. It's uh, time to go. Lieutenant. Comrade Lieutenant, my belly is aching so badly. You're not allowed to move. I can't wait, Lieutenant. I really can't hold it in anymore. Shabanov. Hey, wait a second. So how are you going to take me to court when I need to go to the bathroom, comrade? Well, poop yourself. We'll deal with that later on. Well, hey, listen, he is human. <laughs> yeah, a human with crap in his pants. <laughs> Wait a second. Okay, Shabanov, but make it quick, okay? Get out quick. My legs are asleep. Quicker. Uh -huh. Get out now. Hold on, we're four. You've arrived. Why? No, I don't want to. Hey, I'm at the wheel. Hey, chill out. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, hey. I didn't want to go. I had a feeling that nothing good would come out of letting him out. Well, stop panicking. We need to shout for help now. Somebody will hear us from here. Come on. Let's just focus on that. What should we do now, then? Yeah, let's just start shouting as loud as we possibly oh can. Somebody help Someone us! Someone help us! Somebody help! Over here! Someone help, help us! Help! Idiot. They'll give you another two years for helping him break out. It's your problem, though. I'll spend these two years quietly inside here. And my friend is free and having a good time now. 
And you, Chief, have completely fouled up. Gone down in flames for bullcrap. Why are you so dressed up? Yes, that was a real shame, wasn't it? You know, frankly speaking, though, I feel some kind of respect for you. Really. You don't give a damn. You aren't afraid of a new sentence. A good boy. Do you want some? No way, I won't drink with you. I'm not going to drink with you, though. I don't drink at work. Ever. I'll pour you some. <laughs> Yesterday, one of the most famous drug dealers in Russia, Gennady Shepitsyn, with the nickname Hypo, broke out of a very high security prison. He's some kind of legend of some kind. Hypo was one of the first drug dealers in Russia to contact drug cartels from Colombia. And according to the information we have, he got a batch of heroin. Yet unfortunately, we didn't manage to intercept it. Yes, I clearly remember this case. According to the information we currently have, Hypo is heading to the Moscow region. We think he must turn up in Malie Luke village somewhere. Why do you think so, sir? We concluded that based on the testimony of Hypo's cellmate with the nickname Zorik. Take a seat. Zorik testified that Hypo was going back to the Moscow region. Also, he claims that Hypo allegedly has kids somewhere. I don't know exactly where. Before his arrest, he was hiding in the village of Malie Luke and had a live-in girlfriend there. Apparently, she has had a child. Well, even if you're right about all of this, what are you going to do now? Hmm. Hypo's child must be about four to five years old now, and we checked the statistics. In this village, there are 25 kids of this age right now, and we want to plan a mole. 25 is not that much, and they only have one kindergarten. If we find Hypo's kid, we will only have to wait for him to come at that point. Sounds fine to me, yet I can't understand how our agent will go around the village and ask these moms. I can't imagine that at all. Comrade General, may I speak? I think there must be two agents instead of one. One should be planted into the hospital as a kid's doctor or a gynecologist, the other into the kindergarten. And it must be a woman. Yes, I'm in complete agreement. No, sisters won't do. Now listen, Budarina, I don't know about the second agent. In you, we have an excellent doctor. Officers, I guess Major Budarina is the best candidate for the role of a doctor. She's smart, clever, experienced, and has the education we need. No, Comrade General, I can't do it. I have nobody to leave my son with. Impossible. You'll take him with you for camouflage. A doctor with a child, that's perfect. Won't that be dangerous, Comrade General? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. So far, Hypo hasn't killed anyone, yet now he has a lot to lose. We will give Budarina a most experienced partner if needed. Everything will be just fine. From the point of view of camouflage, that's a very good idea. A new family has arrived, a father, a mother, and a son. That will work. No, Comrade General. This task is not for me, sir. I won't manage. Officers, the meeting is over. Everyone is dismissed. But Arena, stay for a moment. Break a leg. Comrade General, I'm not ready to go anywhere with an unfamiliar person and play something for you. Have my son involved in all that craziness? I don't want to. Shall I kneel down or what? Well, okay, but on one condition. I will control this operation. That's fine. No objection, then. Coordinate the details, the terms, prepare the necessary documents and legends, do it properly. That's it. You can go. And call Golubev. He'll choose a husband for you. Enough. Well then, let's go here. That's it. 
There you go. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> My dear lady. Oh! Baranov speaking. Hello, it's Slava. I wish you a long life, Comrade Colonel. What are you doing now? Some sport. Sport? That's good. We need to talk right now. Come to see me. Come to you. Well, why not, I guess. Okay. <laughs> you understand you will be something of an officer in retirement. Mm -hmm. Well wounded, also shell-shocked, and with a wife. Well, there will be a wife and a child as what? well. What? Say what? Listen, you need a cover from now on. They will understand who you are in a moment if you go alone. And we'll give you a wife and child. No one will guess it. Well, true. Shell-shocked, married, and with a kid. A nice picture. I kind of like it. It builds character. Hm. That's not it. You'll have a civilian occupation, too. Like what? Don't you hit the roof. Uh, you'll be a preschool teacher from this point on. Vitaly, did I get it right, um... That you want to send me, a police major, to work in a kindergarten? Well, you can refuse it, yet I don't recommend that. <sighs> Goodbye then, Comrade Colonel. Goodbye, Comrade Major. <sighs> well, think for yourself. Well, picture me in a kindergarten. I'm a police major. What have you planned, you damn dreamers, huh? Listen to me, you idiot. We suppose that hypo will... will turn up in this kindergarten. Your so-called wife will work in the hospital where she can keep an eye on the women and children. Yet we focus on this kindergarten, in fact. Okay. Well, will my so-called wife look nice at least? I'll choose the best one for you. Comrade Colonel, can I have a blonde? Quite high, quite slender. I mean, will that do? Please agree. By the way, she's a doctor and the widow of an intelligence officer. That's why I ask you to display some courtesy, hard as it may be for you. Got it? And there's more to it. What else? We decided that you must have some visible physical injury. Do you want me to have a wooden leg or something? Vitaly, you're kidding me. I'm not. It's necessary to remit the criminal's watchfulness. What, what, what did you decide to do to me? To chop off my hand or to poke my eye out? Come on, man. We're thinking... so far... Thank you for that, then. Slava, you must agree. <sighs> for you, it's a chance. Damn it, I guess I agree. Okay. Well, uh, when, uh, when will I meet my so-called wife, Right huh? now. She's waiting for you at the cafe downstairs. Uh-huh. So then, shall we get acquainted? One moment, please. Speaking. Hello, Comrade General. Who did you send me, huh? That's the crazy major from that nightclub that night. Calm down, Buterina. That's uh, Major Baranoff, our best agent in town. <laughs> well, that's great. This means he's going to have a most difficult task. I guarantee that. You're in charge of the operation. You decide everything. All right. Hello. Hello again. Would you like something, sir? Some mineral water, still with lemon, cold or something. And you? No, thank you. Well then. Katya, as far as I understand, we need to 
make a closer acquaintance to learn more about each other very quickly. Yes, I'd like to learn more about you as well. Go on. My name is, uh, it's Slava. My family name is very simple and boring, Baranov. That will do. Here you are. Yes, thank you, ma'am. I work as an investigator. I have no kids at all. I'm single. I, I work hard. I'm happy at parties. And when I'm angry, beware, I'm short. And I'm a bit wild. In short, you're a self-confident person. <laughs> Do you think I have no reason to be one? Well, I don't care. My name's Katya Budarina. I'm 32 years old. I'm a widow. I'm a doctor by profession. I have a nine-year-old son. His name is Dennis. Yes, by the way, I've made a list for you. You can review it. What kind of list? A list of requirements for the term of our, so to say, family life. Here you are. Take this one. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. I think you'll find it find it hard to marry again with demands like these. I'm not what is eager so to... funny? Oh. Is that going to be a problem, or will that be okay? Ooh, everything is okay. That's about me. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is one major condition. What's that? You must find a common ground with my son. Ah. That is non-negotiable. Nothing is possible without it. Well, nothing at all, really, to be honest. Hmm. Well, that's feasible, then. We're both men. We'll find a common ground somewhere. Somewhere there, you know. That's great, then. So, to celebrate our acquaintance, maybe we could have some brandy, huh? Yeah, I don't think so. This sucks. We could have gone by car, you know. Well, you're disabled. You need a special car with hand steering, though. Well, they could have given a car with hand steering to their officer. I don't see any problem here. I have nothing to do with it. yours. Yes, I do. Hey, how are you? How are you? I'm Lisa, housekeeping manager of the kindergarten. You're Slava, and that's your wife and your son, right? Yes, that's right. Okay, they sent me to give you the key. Well, they didn't send me. I wanted to come here myself. It's always interesting to have a look at the newcomers. Ah. Yeah. What's your name, little one? Dennis. Dennis. Who do you love more, your dad or your mom? Me? I love lollipops. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Is that all your luggage, sir? No, a car will deliver the rest later. <laughs> oh, perfect. Excuse me, uh, Lisa, where should we go now? Oh, yes! We've arrived already. Follow me. Okay, you'll live right over here. If you need something, come to me. I live right across the road. Block 4, apartment 15. And then we could exchange phone numbers real soon. Here's the key. Thank you. Uh-huh. Lisa, where is the kindergarten? Kindergarten. Uh, not far from here, a few blocks down. Uh -huh. Thank you. Oh, yes, excuse me, Katya. Excuse me, Katya, if you need something like matches or sugar, don't hesitate to ask. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. I'll definitely... Well, come. goodbye then. Goodbye, ma'am. Goodbye, dear. Cool. I've made a choice. You'll live here. This will be a living room. And Mom and I will live here. Deal? Done deal. Dennis, I want to ask you something. Please, call me Dad from now on, okay? All right? You hear me? In public, Dennis. Well, it's difficult. I need some time to get used to it. Well, I don't know. We could arrange things in the bathroom. This will bring us closer. Thank you, Slava. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's nice of you. We must put everything in its place right away. 
Mom says working order is the main thing. Mom says? Uh-huh. What do you mean by working order? Well, you see, I brush my teeth twice a day, so mm -hmm. I could put my toothbrush over here then. Mm -hmm. I wash my head every day, so the shampoo goes over here mm -hmm. in the tub. I cut my nails once a week. I'll put the clippers over here on the sink. Listen, guy, maybe you should take it easy, huh? No, we must put everything in its place first. Are you serious, kid? Yes, and I also think that a tacky person like you will find it difficult to get married, so I'm sorry about all this. You know, I, I'm not eager to get married anyway. How are you doing? Is everything okay in there? It's all good. Your son is a damn bore. Comrade Baranoff. Yes. I guess you've forgotten one article of our agreement somehow? Which one? I'll remind you, a very important one, to be polite. Are you reminding me of politeness? I don't get what you mean. <sighs> okay, I, I won't argue with you now, I guess. I'm not ready for a married life anyway. I'd rather go to kindergarten. Here's the key for you to hold, all right? Goodbye. I'll see you later. Thank you. Oh, and you say you're not ready for a married life. In my view, Mr. Baranoff, you're well prepared for it from what I can tell. Here you are. Well, you won't believe me anyway, but they gave it to me in the drugstore. It has nothing to do with me. I don't care. They gave it to me in the drugstore. I'm serious. Children. Hello. Come Hi. along this way. Hello. Buterin, you're 37 years old, Russian, major, fired for injury, married, has a son. That's correct. And you want to work here as a nursery teacher. Mm-hmm. Why, though? Where does this whim come from? Well, I thought, why not work here? All in all, I'm a teacher by profession and, uh... Clear point. Well, maybe you'll look for a different job. See, for yourself, you're a healthy young man. Not only that ex-army man, why won't you go to work in the police, for example? That's the best option around here. Margarita, as far as you can see, I've got an injury. Mm. I'm lame. Mm -hmm. Moreover, I had a shell shock, and the police, they don't employ... They don't employ people like me. I get it, then. The police won't employ you. Yet, you can work in the kindergarten. That sounds just perfect. Shell shock nursery teachers are the last thing we need here. Do you suffer from fits? Margarita, don't pay so much attention to small things. These are not fits. I have short-term memory lapses. They can easily be paid no attention to. Please, give me a chance. Come on. Listen to me. I'm a teacher with 40 years of work experience, and I can tell you, you can't work with children. You are wrong. <clears throat> That's fine. Reject my application, and I'll go away and find work elsewhere. No, I just want you to refuse yourself for once. But why would I? We got a quota from the ministry, and according to their instructions, there must be one male nursery teacher in the kindergarten due to standards. From the ministry? Yes. I would like to have a look at the person who makes up such instructions as ridiculous as those. I saw this person one time. So, you aren't going to reject this job offer? No, I'm sorry. Okay. You'll work as a nursery teacher at the group of four-year-olds. You can start tomorrow, yet I must inform you that you work here until the first incident happens. So don't mess anything up. Oh, that's nice, really. A woman in the house. It makes wonders. Dennis, we could get up early tomorrow, go jogging, then take a cold shower. It'll invigorate us, huh? What do you think? Here you are. Thank you. <laughs> Is everything all right with the boy? Oh, stop it, Dennis. Come on, stop it immediately. It's just that he wants to be an illusionist. Why did you spit in my plate? <sighs> I'm sorry. I, I gave you a... Pass it here. Let me see. No, thank you. My appetite evaporated. For some reason. 
What are you doing, hon? Dennis. Yes. Wow, how cool is that? Why have you come here, my friend? Oh, my mom is calling you to have tea, and I, like, wanted to say sorry for this soup. I just wanted to show you a trick that I learned. <laughs> Sounds cool. Do you know any other tricks? Cool, a lot. Can I have a look at it? No, you can't. A gun is not a toy. Let's go. Show me some new tricks. Slava, do you like your tea with lemon? With lemon, please. Here you are. Come on now. Show me some tricks, kiddo. Oh, you found some audience. He won't stop now. Other kids learn poems, sing songs, and he, he can only think about tricks all the time. Which trick would you like, with cards or with thimbles? Hmm. You know, kiddo, I guess I'm better at tricks and cards and thimbles than you. Show me something more interesting. Impress me, kid. Okay. Do you have any money? What do you mean? Well, a coin. Dennis, I have a golden coin from Argentina. I brought it from Buenos Aires. It means a lot to me. It's like a lucky charm. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Blow here. There. Um, where is my coin at? What coin is that? My coin, the golden one, kid. Oh, that one. It's in your right pocket. <laughs> You're a dangerous person, young man. Do you want to see my most favorite trick of all? Go on. Here. Well, yes? Seven years. Huh? I say seven years. No, he's nine. <sighs> From seven to twelve in prison for currency counterfeiting. We need to keep an eye on you, kid. What exactly do you mean? I'm serious. So that you don't go buy lollipops with these dollar bills. So goodbye, I guess? Okay, so what about a goodbye kiss? Can you imagine how many people are watching us secretly now? May I? <laughs> you happy? I am, but you don't look too happy. No, you're right about that. A metropolitan chick. Hey, Lisa. Hmm? How are you doing? I'm just fine. Hey, come no, on, come give on. it to me. Awesome, oh, hey. Kiddos, you look really right. cool. why don't you welcome your oh, new no, kindergarten no, teacher? No. His name is Slava. Okay, it's your turn. No. Okay. Hello, kids. Two, What's three, up? Go. Lena, you can go to your group. Slava will manage from here on. Wish you every success, colleague. Thank you, ma'am. Well then, why so silent? <laughs> shoo, shoo, quiet, quiet, hush, hush. Hush, hush, hush. No, no, no. Shh, oh my God, please don't cry. substitute for me. I need to go home. No problem, Slava. Thank you. Kids, go on. I'll be back in a moment. Okay. These are really unmanageable. Don't worry. I'll manage them, sir. Well, I have no doubt you will. Kids, Kids what are we going to do? Let's do a circle dance, shall we? Yeah! <laughs> oh, 
Calm down, Slava. Calm down, man. You'll manage soon, I'll tell you. Tomorrow is Saturday. You'll pull yourself together at the weekend. And on Monday, you'll start anew. Let's do it this way. We can meet tomorrow in the market and talk. Yes, you'll find me. If you don't, I'll find you myself. Don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. All right. Tomorrow's Saturday, right? Yes, it is. Listen, let's buy some tomatoes and avocados and make salad at home. Sounds good. We need to go around and check where they have cheaper and better vegetables, you know? We gotta have cheaper ones over here. <laughs> Dennis, have a look. This man sells both tomatoes and avocados. Not bad. Look. Now, how much are these tomatoes? Tomatoes cost 300. Okay, and the avocados? Avocados cost 150. That is strange. Do you mean that the tomatoes, they're more expensive than the avocados? How is that possible? That's simple. Avocados are 150, while tomatoes are three. Oh, I didn't make it. Dennis, walk along the streets. Try to find a cheaper option. Uh-huh. I tell you, I guess it's all really serious if you turn up here like that in disguise. It's serious. Some people simply don't know their work. In the ministry, they're making so much fuss that even I had to join you despite all my merits. Okay, damn it. Let's get to the point, man. To the point. The point is, Vitaly, that you've made a mistake with this kindergarten. I'm an alien there. We can't come to terms with these kids. And, 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 and this, this woman, my wife, well, the one that pretends to be my wife, it, it, she's not a woman, really. She's made of steel. It's even worse with her than with all the kids around her. I mean, no way. Mm. Well, fine then. That is just great. Well, as long as we can't manage, we'll do it this way. A brother will come for your wife, Katja. What brother? He's a brother to the same extent that you're her husband at this time. We have a major from St. Petersburg. He'll live at your place and let him work at this kindergarten. Wait, 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 wait. Do you mean by saying that he'll live at our place? We don't have any space. Nowhere oh, to stay. Where's he going to sleep? Everything's planned out. Hmm? So? We'll send you to some health retreat to treat your shell shock and, uh, where... Where this brother will sleep, well, Katya and him will decide. Uh-huh. So what are you trying to say now? Yes, it's like that, Slava. Hypo will be here very soon, buddy, and you're play-acting here. You have 24 hours to solve the problem. So are you buying them or not? They don't sell avocados elsewhere. I like pickled cucumbers and cabbage better anyway, kid. Dennis, let's buy some cucumbers. We'll slice them. Add some onion and oil. It's going to be really tasty, huh? No. I like salad made of tomatoes and avocados. Mmm, you're hard to please, I see. Here, boy, I'll give you some avocados and tomatoes for free. Here you go. Take it. Take it. All oh, right. thank you. This guy is a magician. Let's go, Dennis. Come on, let's go. You're welcome, young boy. Thank you, sir. You like it. Hypo's <laughs> back home! <laughs> Come in. Katya, I need your help. Could you give me sick leave for a couple of days? A sick leave? Mm-hmm. You haven't even started working yet. <sighs> Kids don't take me seriously. I can't make them love me, after all. <laughs> you don't need to make them love you. You must love them yourself. <sighs> Do you want to say I don't like kids, or what? Oh, well, Slava, you're a man. Your profession is tough. It's difficult for you, I understand. Wait a moment. Do you... Do you want to say that I, Major Baranov, I don't like kids? Slava... 
You can't find a common ground even with Dennis who lives here. Well, he complained that you refused to buy tomatoes for him in the market, and the seller gave them to him for free. Well, as for the seller, it's a different story, and as for your boy, I see how you raise him and bring him up. I can say he's a difficult boy to please. Now, I'm not trying to be rude, but it is true. Slava, I don't want to listen to your opinions right now. I must tell you, even if you don't want to hear it, he is spoiled. He wants to eat salad only from avocados and tomatoes. And all these tricks, all these thimbles, counterfeit dollars, cards, he's already good at it. He only needs to find a suitable company and that's it. His life will go downhill from then on. Are you being serious with me right now? Yes, I am serious right now. You know what, Slava? You look like a good man. Yet, in fact, you're a dumb, damn silly, and cold, heartless, stupid martinet. That's the way you are. Me? A martinet? That is right. You can't even find a common ground with the damn kids. Okay, I'll give you a sick leave tomorrow. It's going to be better for everyone, really. Well, thank you so much for your female tenderness, mutual understanding, and team spirit. Well, that's it for now. All the best. I'm sorry to have disturbed you. Have a good night. You take care now. That's okay. All the best. Mm -hmm. No, Mom, I'm not down. I'm just tired. Just tired. Are you working there? No, not much. I finish at five in the evening. Dennis is okay as well. Yet I'm having a problem with my partner. He's tacky, self-assured, impudent, and he's trying to flirt. Can you imagine, Mom? He even tried to kiss me once. He's brave. So did you react in a usual way? <laughs> well, sure, I put him down. Don't you laugh. I'll still have to work with him for some time. Katya, you need to learn to see not only the black and white colors. There are a lot of colors in the world, dear. Well, that's the thing. My partner doesn't distinguish them, though. Well, tell me, what's your husband's name? Slava. Slava. <laughs> well, you should, you should treat him better. The way you treat Dennis, you forgive everything he does. <laughs> Mom, come on, don't compare them. A boy and a grown-up man. But honey, men are the same as kids. If you're tender with him, it will do better than if you're strict. Katya, you must think it over, huh? Well, life here is more or less the same. Nothing has really changed. Oh, a doctor with her husband arrived here last week. Mm hmm Who are they? Well, well, he's okay, but shell-shocked. <laughs> well, don't you laugh. And she's like, you know, a metropolitan chick. Yeah, I think she's cheating on him somehow. You think so? Well, I think so. I feel so. You know, she kisses his lips, and then she wipes her mouth. All in all, they are no bargain. I mean, they don't match. As soon as she arrived, she started to examine all the moms. Not all, but only those who have four or five-year-old kids. Well, she's a gynecologist and a general practitioner. Medical examination, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's look at your doctor and her husband then, all right? <laughs> Try to flirt with this shell-shocked. Let me know. What do you mean? <laughs> hmm? Oh, I'll show you how to flirt. <laughs> <laughs> Like that. <laughs> Guys, look at the cell phone I got yesterday. Cool, oh, where'd you wow. take it? It's awesome. Shall we sell it? Let's try to sell it to some dumb head. What, seriously? I mean, if you want. Hey, Copperfield, why don't you say hi? Hello. I didn't understand who you told it to, son. Let me pass. Guys, he's cocky. He's an illusionist from Moscow. Do you think if you're from Moscow, you can act like that, huh? Hey, guys, let's look and see what's in his case, huh? Don't touch it. <laughs> Give it to me, man. Try to get it, kid. <laughs> Leave me alone, Hey, guys. boys, I don't understand what's going on. This is sad. You're three against one. Dennis, Dennis, come here, please. Who's he, huh? Doesn't matter. His dad, I guess. Give me back my case. Quiet, quiet. Okay, he's lame. Let's go. It's too early for you to go, kid. Did you hear? Now give me the suitcase. Give me that suitcase. Catch me and take it, Dad. You just calm down. Run! 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 <laughs> run, run. Freeze! Okay, boy. Listen to me attentively. 
and pass it on to your cronies. If you touch this guy again, I will not only tear your ears off, I'll do something worse and you'll regret it. Do I make myself clear? Do you hear me? Yeah. What is this in here? <laughs> You're too young to smoke. <laughs> I told you, you'd better do your morning exercise. What morning exercise? A lot, kid. There were three and me. Take your treasure and stop crying. All done. So listen, why did they accost you? They were jealous of me. Why, though? I performed today. You know how they watched me? Even the first graders. Huh, first graders, too. So, Dennis, listen to me. Could you show me, uh... A couple of tricks, well, so that I could do them... I could do them myself to someone else one day. Yeah, but what for? Well, I have a reason. Will you allow me to shoot from your gun if I teach you one then? Now stop. Dennis, let's make a deal, kid. My gun is a service weapon, and I can't allow anyone to shoot it, especially a kid. Do you see the point I'm trying to explain to you? Do you understand? I simply have circus bullets, yet I don't have a revolver to shoot. I uh, will show you all of my tricks then. Let's make the following arrangement. You show me your tricks. I'll check your bullets then. After that, you must promise me that you will... You will never touch my things that are lying around the house. Now, is that a deal? Done deal. Which trick shall we start with then? Oh, um... um <laughs> the, the one where the small balls come out of your mouth and the one with the cards, definitely. These are the simplest ones. That's a done deal. Well, fine. Go home and get everything there. And I need to go to the hospital, and that won't take long, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> A young genius. Come in, please. Gotcha. Good evening, I'm home. Oh, that's you. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a sick leave in a moment. No, Katya. Wait a second, I... I didn't come for the sick leave. I came to say... I'm sorry for my behavior. Please forgive me. I was not right, and I promise I will never act like that anymore. Oh, that's strange. I thought you'd never apologize to me. Why not? It happens sometimes. I... I just thought that, I don't know. I grew up without a father, just like Dennis. And after we had a row yesterday, I was lying in bed remembering how my mom took me, took me to the park on holiday, and she allowed me to ride all those roller coasters as much as I wanted. Yes, she couldn't afford an ice cream to herself. She just nipped a bit from my ice cream and, and that was it. And also, well, yes, I, I remember- Oh, Slava. Yes. Why are you sharing all of this with me? Well, I was ashamed of having rebuked you, I guess. Oh no, you must forgive me. <sighs> For calling you a martinet. It's, it's nothing. It, no, Slava, you're well, good. It's, 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 it's questionable, but I agree. Slava, here's your sick leave. Take it. Yes, thank you. So tell me. Do you forgive me? Well, yes. Thank you. It's just water with gel balls. They are transparent and nobody sees them at all. And if you put them in your mouth, they grow in size and become multicolored. Dennis, you must be kidding me right now, huh? Take my word for it then, but you mustn't drink this water in any case, or these balls will fall out of your mouth all day long. Don't be afraid. Everything will be fine, I promise. I'm not afraid, kid. Goodbye. Goodbye. Here comes Slava. Kids, let's say hello. One, two, three. Hello, hello Mr. Slava. Can I go now? Are you going to be okay? Mm-hmm. 
you like to do now, my young friends? Hmm? Tell us a tale. Come on, a tale. A tale. Please tell us a tale. Come on. All right. Uh, well, well, we'll have lunch, then we'll sleep a bit. After that, we'll go for a walk, and I will tell you a tale. How about that? Does that sound good? Yes! yes! Well, I don't think that that's the way. I mean, I've never, ever let them go without helmets. Have a good day. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye Slava. Oh, yes, oh, of course. Ladies, look at this. What is this pandemonium under the windows of a kindergarten? Come on, take your men home and guide them. We don't know these guys. They came by themselves. If I was to decide, I would shoot all these drunkards dead right now. Oh, come on. Oh, but seriously? I mean, what do you wish that they would move away? Hey, guys, uh, I'm sorry to bother you. The kids are walking here, and you were drinking. Well, that is just no good. Our kids don't drink, by the way, jerk. <laughs> well, guys, stop fooling around. Come on now. Get going, please. Hmm. Listen, we'll decide for ourselves what we want to do. Get out of here, if you mind. We have the right to it after work. Mm. Yes, okay. You don't understand the good words. Go on and educate the kids. Male teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Madam, do you know that it's prohibited to sell alcoholic drinks next to a child's institutions? Well, first, I'm not a ma'am. I'm a miss to you. Second, I don't sell vodka to kids, as you see. So stop giving commands. Come on, get out of here. Come on. Come on, go, go. Don't disturb me, bastard. Come on, go. Go. Right, right, Galia. Mm-hmm. Lisa. Hey, could you give me your car for a few minutes? Mm -hmm. Not only my car, and not only for a few minutes. <laughs> what do you mean by that? How come such a great big man doesn't understand what I mean, hmm? Lisa, <laughs> pull yourself together. I'm married, mm. you remember? Okay? Okay, okay, okay. Hold on a second. What's happening here? What's he doing? Mm. I don't get it. Hey, stop! Stop, 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 stop! Hey, 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 Starts with C, not K. Let's try again. One, two, three. Well, we pronounce K, though. Yes, we pronounce K, but we spell C. Write it several times to remember, okay? <clears throat> Practice. <sighs> Katya. Hello? Hello? That's for you. Uh, thank you very much. What's... The reason for this, though. Well, no reason. It's just because you're beautiful, kind, well, and you save us from starvation every day of our lives. Well, thank you so much. Frankly speaking, I cook for both of you. Well, that's nice of you. <laughs> I'll go and put it in the vase. Well, do you think she likes them? That's a strange thing to ask. All girls like a man giving them flowers. Do they often give her flowers? Well, it happens. Listen, have you fallen in love? Say what? <laughs> We're on assignment, young man, you and me. Don't forget about that. And then, what love may there be in such conditions? I'm a, <coughs> a grateful person, that's it. Did you forget that you promised to let me shoot from your shotgun one of these days? Your bullets are the wrong caliber. The caliber is right. I checked it. Dennis. 
I didn't take it anywhere. I managed to check it that one time. You are cunning. <laughs> I know. So, are you ready? Yes. Where are you going to shoot? Right there. Go on. Wow! Wow! Indeed, once again, shoot again. Wow! wow. <sighs> Listen, when can we go shooting again? When you stop getting C's for your Russian, then we'll go out and shoot. Mm, that won't happen soon. Well, friend, that depends on you. Lisa! Ha! Huh? Lisa, come here, quickly. What's up? Look there, who is this man? Oh, that one. That is our shell shock doctor's husband. Look, this is their son over there. So tell me then, is that the one I asked you to flirt with once? Is that... Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, what a face he has. <laughs> oh, well, I... I'd better get acquainted with him myself. And then I'll let him know who's boss. Yeah? Why so? Oh, Yo, you'll see. <laughs> That's what my dog does. When I was your age at school, in my grade, I set up a boycott to all my classmates. It was awesome. What do you mean? It was simple. I said I despise them all and don't come up to me. Okay. Good night. We need to get up early tomorrow morning. <sighs> Your shell shocked is not only unwilling to sleep with you, he and his wife have separate rooms in their house. Really? Really, I saw it with my own eyes. <laughs> so what does that mean? Well, I don't know. Maybe he didn't just lose his leg during the war. <gasps> or maybe she's not his wife after all. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this, though, I'll tell you that. <laughs> huh? I'll check at least. Mm -hmm. I'm so mm -hmm. cold, let's go get warm. <laughs> into a beautiful duck. And this duck flew far and away to perform an important duty assignment. I'll... I'll tell you the rest after the meal, if you sleep well now. Oh... Vasilisa, you won't get blown from the bed, okay? By the draft, girl. Come here. Oh, girl, you're heavy. Now lay down here. Okay, then. Okay, now. Hmm. Slava, excuse me. I wanted to say thank you for coming in. I want to say that you surprised me. I didn't think you were so talented, but you've proven otherwise. Um, I am pleased to be working with you here, Slava. I I'm honestly, truly shocked. Excuse me, Margarita, but I'm not pleased with you as the director of the kindergarten in this school. Uh, what? In my group, there are splits uh, under the windows of this sign and the kids get blown away from their potties. As a director, you can't know about that or allow that here. Is that all you want to tell me, Mr. Slava? Do you think it's not enough? It's not. Let's go. I want to show you something very quickly. Splits, you say. Do you know the roof is full of holes? And when it rains, we have to put buckets under these holes in the attic. Yeah, that's not the only thing. I will show you. Come in here. Come in here. Here. Here, have a look here. Every day I fear we'll explode. I've been asking for the money to carry out repair works for six years already. Do you think I got any? Do you think they listen to me? Do you think so? I don't think they do. 
No. Four years ago, they sent us all this crap. Ugh. A ton of chalk and some perlite. It turned out later by mistake. <sighs> yeah. A difficult task you have. Hmm. Well, anyway, can you cope with that? Because I truly can't. I can't either, yet I could try, if you like. <sighs> Slava, are you crazy? What kindergarten? What repairs? Did you forget why they sent you here? Definitely not for that. Vitaly, stop scolding me. One thing doesn't hinder the other. We'll cope with the task, so don't worry. And the kindergarten is really in poor condition. We must help. How do you see it? Shall I call the local administration and ask for the money? They'll tell me where to get off, and then they'll be right, by the way. Shall I find some oligarch over there somewhere? Here. That's a good idea, by the way. Honey. There must be some rich people here. We'll ask them to help. Drop it. Why? There's only one rich person here, and yet you can't imagine how greedy he is. It's useless to even try. You should just drop it. You should just drop it. Vitaly, find me some, like, mm, compromising material, some dirt, and I'll talk to him. Just do me that favor, will you please? You never stop, Slava. Okay. Are you trying to find some adventures out there? <coughs> then goodbye. Thank you, Vitaly. I knew you would show some understanding and help me out. Now I better go. Jesus, this is... Oh, oh hey, what are you doing? What, what about the money? What money? It was free last time, wasn't it, man? Well, it was free for the child. Who am I buying that for, in your opinion? Vitaly, please hurry up with the information about this guy. Come on, help me out. Damn you, you're, you're so cunning. And what about the father? He left for Moscow. Promised to take me with him, then got married to another woman. Well, I don't know where he is. We only went out for like two months. He left without any word of warning. I came home and there was nobody there. Absolutely no one. He had black hair. He played the guitar all the time. Well, like a Russian Salentano. Uh, I'm not going to tell you anything. I just don't want to. I'm sorry, doctor. He was cool, though. Hello, Comrade General. It's Buterina speaking. Well, I've checked about 90% of mothers already. Well done. Finish with that. I feel we'll soon find him, my darling angel. We'll find him very soon. Sounds good. Okay, I put it down. A new boiler. We need roof tiles. 200 square meters, 24 window panes, still flashings for rain pipes, paint and the internal works. Well, and doors, of course. Now, what else do you need? I'll just write it all down, okay? You just tell me. Anything else that you need? <sighs> they will never give you so much money. They don't have any money to help out. Who is they? The local administration. My dear Margarita, I'm not going to turn to them. I found a private investor, Ivan Sereda. Have you heard of him? Margarita. Oh, Slava, you're crazy. What do you you're mean? out of your mind. He won't give you anything. Even snow in winter. He's greedy as hell. A horrible miser who cares for no one. He opened a restaurant six months ago, and they say he hasn't gotten the permission yet. Of course, this permission costs money. Don't you even try it. It's not going to work. Margarita, listen. I uh, have a unique uh, gift of uh, the gap. That's why I think I will manage. And the fact that he... He opened a restaurant, it's wonderful if you ask me, honestly. Oh, Slava, my dear. If you get these materials for repairs, I will kneel down in front of you, really. Never do that. That's it. Now, I need to go back and meet my wife at the house. Go you have a good then, day. Go on Slava. Go, go on then. See, see if you can. <laughs> Hello, Hypo. You have 15 minutes. I'll make it. Mm-hmm.
are we going to do in the evening today? Watch a movie on TV. About love again? Well, why not? <laughs> Your mom likes it. Yes, do you? Well, yeah, I do. So, just as I thought, this doctor and her husband are cops, and this lame guy is Baranoff. He's a, he's a famous agent, stubborn as a mule. A true idiot. Worse than a goat. Hmm. But hold on. Why is she involved? Lisa, what are you, dumb? I told you she's an agent, all right? Well, okay. What are we going to do now? Nothing. We'll sit quietly and wait around. That's all. Let's mm -hmm. go now. Come on, let's go. <gasps> So I would like a borscht, a schnitzel, and a bottle of cold mineral water sparkling. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Excuse me, where can I wash my hands? The restroom is on your left. Oh, thank you, man. Just in time for this. Your borscht, sir? Mmm. Ah, smells great. It smells like garlic. Enjoy your meal. Thank you, sir. No, waiter. Yes? Take a look at what I found in my soup. But that's impossible. <laughs> uh, well, the thing is that only men work as cooks here. I'm sorry about that, sir. I really am. Okay. We'll do it this way. I'll call public supervision, consumer rights protection watchdogs, TV journalists, police, and you will have to deal with them. Is there any way we could solve this problem in different ways, sir? I could solve this problem unofficially with the boss, if you prefer. Call him here so I can speak to him, please. Our boss, he is Mr. Ivan Sereda, sir. I really don't care. You can call him any name. Call the boss, I said. Are you deaf or what is wrong with you? Go get him right now. Wait a moment, please. I need to call him in, sir. Yes, speaking. What? So what? Well, give him a thousand or five hundred and let him get off. He won't leave? Is that right? Huh. What does he want? Bring him here and I'll talk to him in a proper way, idiot. The boss is waiting for you, sir. Now let's go. And let's go talk to your boss. Great, thanks for your help. A new boiler, roof tiles, new window panes? Are you out of your mind? Isn't that too much for one soup? What do you take me for? Do you know who I am? Of course. I do. If I didn't, I wouldn't have come here. Okay. Ivan Sereda, also known as Vano from Kutashi. In 1992, Article 161, Robbery. 1993, Article 161, Part 2, Group Robbery. 2003, Article 162, An Armed Holdup. Well, shall I go on and list your new feats, or can we come to terms? I won't give you anything, buddy. Why not? That's my principle. Stop talking about principles, Ivan. I know them very well. You're a real pinch penny. Who, me? Yes, you. Well, in Monte Carlo, I lost a lot and didn't care. Got it, or did you forget that? Uh-huh. A good idea, by the way. Or shall we play cards instead? With what money? <laughs> is that it? Well, you gotta win first. The deck is mine. I'll deal then. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. 
100 in the pot. All in then. One more. No, too much. 200 in the pot. One more. <sighs> Take one. Four hundred in the pot. Twenty five thousand six hundred in. I am all in. That is it. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Twenty one, dummy. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec, Ivan. Are you always in such a hurry? What's he? So do you think I'll let you go with all this money, you idiot? Are you kidding me? I don't think so, Ivan. I know so. <laughs> oh, don't you suffer like that. You're not some girl. Stay tough. You better comfort yourself that this money will be spent on a very good cause. Just know that you help poor kids. Now, do you have a bag for all this? Violet, Violet, hurry up. Don't be too slow. Hurry up. Slava, Slava, you're a magician. Really, you have some special gift. It's impossible. I can't believe it, really. Oh, you're a magician. Oh. Lisa, go. Go home and quickly. Go home now. We need to discuss something, all right? Ooh, what did you need? Lisa, what happened in kindergarten earlier today? Oh, that thing. The doctor's husband arranged the repairs. Are you dumb, though? I told you it's not her husband, it's an agent. And the doctor as well, you damn idiot. Oh. I forgot. These repairs uh, are no good for us. We can't wait any longer. Uh, what are we to do now? What do we do now? Okay. We need to help them find my son immediately. That's it. Wait a sec. You have a son? What, what are you talking about? You don't need to understand huh? it. You Just listen to me. You need to find some mom with a mm -hmm. five-year-old child currently single and living, living here in this country. Uh, Valentina. Pimenova? Yeah. Right, uh, that's it. I'll be back. What? Uh, I'm confused. Yes? Excuse me, doctor. Has my girl come today? Excuse me, which is yours, sir? Valentina Pimenova. No. That's strange. She said she was going to the hospital. She must be at home. Excuse me, then. General Buterina. Hypo has turned up. 
Stop the surveillance in the kindergarten. Stop it. Start the surveillance at 4 Industrial Naya Street right away, mister. Start the surveillance. And make sure to report to me personally of anything you might observe. Report. Give some reward to Buderina. Reward. And the Major? Reward as well? Makes no sense. He didn't get anything. What shall we do then? Recall him. He's useless. Recall him? Jeez. Fine. Get on with it then. Yes, sir. How are you behaving? Like a hungry person, as always. Listen here, a hungry person. I need to talk to your mom, and this is really important. That's why I want to ask you something. You have your meal, and you go to your room, and don't disturb us, okay? You understand? Will you let me shoot from your gun again anytime soon? Hey, all this horse trading and respect for each of my requests is no good. Do you get me? Yes, I understand, but... You're cunning. <laughs> here. It looks beautiful, honey. I think I better go to sleep. How about your meal? I've had it already. Bye. Katya. Katya. Katya, I, I want a drink to you. And in this respect, I have a toast. Uh, excuse me for my twist of the tongue. I, I'm no good at toasts. All in all, that's the way it is. The gist is as follows. So here goes. All right, here it goes. I've been alone all of my life. I'm used to it. I've put up with that, so to say. But um, I didn't expect I would get so used to you as my wife, to the boy, Dennis. Well, well, yes. I mean, what, what I'm trying to say is, let me sum it all up for you, OK? All right. Katya, <sighs> come what may, let's drink brotherhood. Slava? Uh, uh, oh, Lord. Mm, maybe you're just afraid to say you want to kiss me, is that it? I'm afraid. I'm terribly afraid, Katya. You uh, can't even imagine how much oh, I'm afraid. Oh, Slava, you know, just try not to be afraid. Just do it, you know? Well, fine then. So, <laughs> let's drink brotherhood. Oh, oh sorry. Me. I'll hold it. Excuse me. Yeah, it's fine. I'll hold it. Oh, this is really important. It'll just take a second. Three minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. Three minutes. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. My tally, my man, your call is so untimely. Listen, Slava. The thing is, in fact, the operation's already over. You can go back to Moscow now. Over how so? Did they, did they catch him? Not like that, but they're close to it. Would you stop mumbling? Speak clearly. The general called me, by the way. He had nice things to say. In short, they found the address of Hypo's woman, and now they're waiting for him there. Stop, stop, stop. Wait a second. How did they manage to find him? Please tell me. The agent from the anti-drug police identified him, Slava. Wait, wait a second, Vitaly. They're... There haven't been any agents here. Here, all outsiders are seen from a distance. There are very few people here, do you understand? Yes, there have. Slava, believe me. Well, tell me. A, a dumb one, how I managed not to see this agent. So who is it? I haven't seen any outsiders anywhere near here. Well, OK. You asked yourself, mind you. In short, your Katya is a major of the anti-drug police. She was in charge of everything. And we, well, I mean you, were something like a cover. Slava. Say something, damn you. Slava. <sighs> Did you know? Slava, let me explain this to you. This was our only chance. I wanted to tell you a long time ago, buddy. Don't go crazy now, please. No, I will not harm your career, comrade colonel. Uh, don't you worry, sir. Are you okay? I'm okay. Couldn't be better, Katya. 
You know something? I'm not eager to drink or eat with you. For some reason, after speaking to... Comrade Major... Slava, I'm really sorry. I really wanted to explain everything to you right from the beginning. Well, there's nothing to explain here. There's nothing to explain, Katya. You are... marrying a great talent. You are a great actress. You could earn a living this way, you know? Slava, listen to me, please. I, I really, I didn't have time to tell you the truth. I'm sorry about that. Well, I heard it elsewhere. By the way, you had time. It's just that you didn't tell me. All in all. Bravo. Goodness. The heroin. Dumb hypo. Now I know where your son lives. Come here, man. We miss you, hmm? Good morning. Where's Dad at? Slava. He left. To work so early? Go and brush your teeth. Okay. to catch me right now. <laughs> Stop laughing. What shall we do now, then? I wonder where this damn cop is. Do what you want, all right? I don't know. I didn't see him in the morning. Apparently, he's with those who are trying to catch him. <sighs> Apparently, you're right. Let's do it this way. Call this doctor and say her husband is in the hospital. Take the car. You take the car. Uh-huh. Go, go to the kindergarten to take the stuff. Do that all on your own. Yeah. And you? Uh, <laughs> Don't be afraid. I'll make sure you're safe. Hmm? Yeah. And what if she doesn't run to him? Huh? She will. If not, it'll be worse for her. <sighs> okay. I'm okay. <sighs> Hello? Katya, how are you? <gasps> I'm calling you. And from the hospital with bad news. What's wrong? Your husband is admitted here. I decided you must know about it. Goodness, what happened though? Moderately severe maxillofacial trauma. He asked me not to call you, yet I decided to do it so you know. <sighs> yes, thank you, thank you. I got it, yes. Yeah, I got it. Dennis. Dennis, do you hear me? I have to go. Stay calm at home, please. All right, Mom. Hmm. 
Hmm. <gasps> here, here she is. Good, that's it, that's it. Let's go. Everything will be quick now. Go. Hello. Hello? My parents are not home right now. Hmm. I've come for you. Get ready. Hmm? To go where? To kindergarten. To show my awesome tricks? Yeah, something like that, sure. Can I take my magic water trick as well? Yeah, you can take everything, everything, but hurry up. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll take my cards as well. No. Oh. God help you, poor Lisa. I think you could use your energy in a much better way. You're too vigorous for a woman. Uh, uh Slava, how are you? Mm -hmm. uh, I arranged it uh, with the boss that I could come and take some chalk uh, like that. <laughs> um, oh, I see your leg is healed. Congrats for that. <laughs> well, you've arranged it with the boss. Mm -hmm. Yet you didn't arrange it with me. Well... We work together, you and me. We could agree somehow. Maybe we can arrange something, just us two. Hmm? <laughs> no, Lisa. There's just no way. That's not the case. Don't even try. If you don't arrange it with her, you could try to arrange it with me, all right? Father, I'm so afraid! Don't be afraid, son. This man won't harm you in any way. I promise you. <laughs> You're wrong, cop. I will. I won't hesitate to cut him. Uh, let the kid go, Hypo. No problem at all. Throw your gun and let my girl do her business once and for all, cop. Uh, maybe you should... Uh, Lisa! Oh. <sighs> we have little time. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Hide there. That's it. Shh. Well, now, you'll be rewarded for that, I assume. Maybe they'll even give you some medal right here. <laughs> Post-mortem. And now, eat this dirt all by yourself. Dennis, where's your mom? She went to the hospital, then this man came and told me to go with him. Water. Give me some water. No, we don't have any water, man. I have some magic water with me. Oh, that's what he needs now. Uh, Give it to him. Uh, uh, but don't drink too much. Uh, that won't do you any good. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Fine. Mm. Go on. Go on. Go on. Uh, I'll talk to you later about this, you damn bitch. Mm. Hello, Vitaly. I've got your guy like you mm. asked for. Uh, I tell you, I got uh, your hypo. Come to the kindergarten and have a look at it. You see, Lisa, this is what happens when you are a drug addict. Oh. Hi, Bo. Hi, Bo. Dennis. Oh. Mama! Son! Dad <laughs> saved me in there. Congratulations. Well done, my darling. Well, and you. You were great, really. Congratulations. I've always believed in him. As of Monday, you get back to your work. Yes, into the breach, so to say. So, so get ready. Get ready, all right? Come 
Red Colonel. <laughs> I need to discuss this with my family and someone else. Come on, come on. 